Hello, my name is Casey Bork, PGA professional out here in Phoenix, Arizona. And at this time I'm going to talk to you about setup for pitch shots. Uh, the thing to think about with pitch shots, um, with a pitch shot we want to hit the ball up high and have it come down sharply to stop with trajectory as opposed to a chip shot that's lower and is going to run out. Um, so the first thing we think about with, with pitching is we want the ball relative to our heels in the middle of our stance. Okay, We want our feet a little bit closer together and the reason we do that is with this shot we're not shifting our weight so much. So we're keeping our, our feet narrow because we're not shifting our weight left and right. Okay, So feet are narrow, ball is in the middle of our stance. This way the club will catch the ball on the way down in a slight descending blow as opposed to on the way up an ascending blow. So we're, we're dropping the club down on the ball. Um, because we're hitting the ball up high, needless to say, we need a lofted club. I've got a, lo uh, a lob wedge here that's going to be the most loft in my bag. And the last thing I want to talk about is a lot of players get confused as to whether they need to open the club face or keep the club face square. I assure you that this 60 degree wedge has enough loft to get the ball up high enough over most things that you're going to have to hit over. Only in extreme circumstances I would recommend laying the club open and hitting what we call a flop shot. Okay, So we want the club face square to our target line. Our stance is relatively narrow because we're not swaying. Ball position is centered. We're relaxed over the ball and now we're ready to give it the motion. If there's anything else you'd like to know about golf, visit www.caseybork.com.